Today's cigar tip is brought to you by McAuliffe Cigars. Hi, Stephen. I got a question for you. Is it your question or did it come from a viewer? Well, no, it came from me. Okay. Me asking a cigar maker, mm -hmm. somebody I highly respect, somebody we've had on the show before, somebody who has, his family is tobacco, mm -hmm. uh, Gabby Cathy. And I just posed the question, can you retro hail too much? Is there a good, bad way of retro hailing? Um, yes. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. so yes, you can too much. You can too much. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you watch the blenders doing it and everything, they're sampling sometimes just the individual tobaccos and getting kind of in their sensory, uh, the, the taste and flavors to blend them together in their mind to then blend the product. But too much, yeah, you can burn out your sinuses and desensitize them. So can you retro hell too little? Like not. If you don't, it's not bad, but you're not getting the full experience of the cigar. Because you need to get that through your nasal passages. Your tasting it, process, process, a lot of your receptors are in your nose yep. that you taste. Sweet and sour, yeah. sweet and sour on your They're cheeks. They're in there. And, and, and uh, one of the things, you know, if you're going to review cigars, you need to retro at least a little bit. You don't have to blow it out like a freaking dragon, no. right? But blow out a little bit in your mouth, take what's left, and, blow, and then shove that to the roof of your mouth and blow it out through your nose. Yeah. Just a puff, and that'll help. Yeah. Definitely, really, I mean, because it will uh, reveal tastes that you don't taste when you don't re retrohale. Right, things that aren't on your taste buds, but are in your, in your nasal receptors. Right, so you can retro too much, you need to retro at least a little bit. So if you try to learn how to do that just a little bit, uh, but you don't have to. If you're not, you're not into that, you don't care, you, you, you're, you're satisfied right. with what you're tasting in the cigars, then you don't have to retro hell. Besides that, it's your cigar smoked the way you want to, right. right? Right, same thing with when you go to a distillery and they, you know, if they are, you're lucky and they hand you some white dog, do not stick your nose down in there and take a deep, Oh, wow. Sniff on it. You can really hurt your nasal receptors. They'll recover, but it can be almost damaging, and therefore it would change your flavor tastes okay. afterwards. So right. cool. always, you know, even with the Glen Cairns, you know, you're not going yeah, full nose just, in. You're just yeah. kind of yeah, pass it underneath and get a and a that's good you sense of it. in a sense, kind of retro hailing taking it in through your nose and blowing it out your mouth and getting it yeah, that, that way, way before. And this is the smoke coming in this way and going out your nose yeah, the other yep. way and tasting it. So another good tip. Yep. All right, cool. Thank you.